Dave DeFabio, owner of Team Speed Fitness LLC. I'm also a strength and conditioning specialist and a professor here at Rutgers University. Today we're going to show you exercises for increasing size of the gluteal group and the muscles around your hips. And since we're talking about muscle hypertrophy, gains in muscle size, what we're about to show you are compound exercises, multi-joint exercises. Why are we going to use those kind of exercises? Because those exercises allow you to lift more weight and we're going to use exercises that challenge the pelvic region. All right. So what you're about to see, you would typically do three sets of each exercise. We're going to show you four exercises. So that's 12 sets just for one particular region of the body. That's a decently high volume of exercise and that's part of what you want. So the first exercise that Nick is going to demo here is just a standard deadlift. Okay, his feet are about shoulder width apart, his hands just outside of his shins, overhand grip on the bar, and he's just going to stand up. You're driving your heels down into the ground so that the floor actually pushes back, back up at you so that you can pull the weight off the ground. So that you can pull the weight off the ground, you're actually pushing your heels down into the ground. And at the top of the range of motion, Nick pushes his hips into the bar. Go ahead, do a couple more reps, Nick. And he pulls those shoulders back, so he's standing up nice and tall sticking his chest out on the deadlift. Again, about eight to 12 repetitions, three sets. Okay, thanks Nick. Another exercise that we could do is a front squat. So instead of holding the bar on your upper back with a traditional squat, a back squat, we're gonna hold it, Nick's gonna hold it out in front of him. This is a little more challenging on your core as well. And you'll notice that he's got good wrist flexibility to be able to hold that bar back on his shoulders. His elbows are up so that his arms are parallel to the floor and he's gonna squat. And as he squats down, He's making sure that his elbows stay up so that his elbows don't touch his knees. Depending on your flexibility, that'll dictate how deep you can go on this uh, particular exercise. You can see Nick's got really good uh, hip and knee flexibility and ankle flexibility to get all the way down to the bottom in that squat. And his feet, again, shoulder width apart, turned out slightly. Same thing with his knees. They kind of flare out a little bit. And that's the front squat. So three sets, eight to 12 repetitions. Then the next thing that Nick could do are step-ups. For step-ups, you'll need either a bench um, or a step that's about knee height, maybe a little bit below knee height, mid-shin height, and you're going to step up onto the step with one foot, and you're going to drive the opposing knee up as high as you possibly can, keeping a nice upright posture with your shoulders pulled back. And then the last exercise, again, because we don't want to just do things through the sagittal plane only, we want to go through frontal plane uh, movements as well, meaning you're stepping side to side, not just front to back. We can incorporate something like a side lunge. So Nick is going to start with his feet about hip width apart. He's going to take a step out to his side. When that foot hits the ground, his hip pushes back so that it looks like one leg's doing a squat while the opposing leg um, straightens out. And as Nick steps out and lunges down, he can reach that medicine ball down towards his knee. So now you have four different exercises that you can incorporate into your resistance training routine to specifically target uh, the glutes. And if you have any questions, any further questions regarding your training routine, please look me up online at Team Speed Fitness. And until next time, remember, train like you play, play like you train. Thank you.